think that's the way it goes. It's legendary. Everyone lines up and pretty much bum rushes the field. I'm a little nervous. Uh, it's my first time really trying to get a spot here at Brian Park. Dude, am I going to be alright? Because I, I see the way you guys get on the field. The way you guys run out there. It scares the living crap out of me. Whoa! Wow! Watch out! What the hell? Get the picnic like it's fine! We need plenty of room for hummus and wine! Woo! Oh man, I'm telling you, it's tough work, guys. Hey, what's going on? Hey, it's Bill and Aaron, and we're here at yes. Bryant Park Summer Movie Festival. And tonight, if you couldn't tell by what we're wearing, Bill, we are seeing uh, E.T., the extraterrestrial, Steven Spielberg's epic alien masterpiece. You've seen E.T. clearly. A few times, I'd say. Have you met yeah. like a little baby? Okay. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know that I, I know you well enough to share that kind of information. Oh, man, I'm going to be looking for you at the end of the movie. If I see you crying when you get on the camera, so I'm trying to just come clean now, bro. Do you cry at the end of it? And he has to go home? No. No? He's a strong man. We're looking for. Exactly. I bawl like a baby. Did you guys cry at the end of E.T.? Like um, I guess. <laughs> I was a child. No, I don't go. So you will cry tonight as well, right? Yeah, yeah, I think probably. Alright, I cried a little bit. Alright, you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what beverage was E.T. drinking out of the refrigerator when Elliot was at school? He's getting tipsy. He's getting loaded. Oh, beer. Adult yeah. beverage. Remember the type of beer it was? Budweiser. Original Coors, baby. Do you think E.T. and Drew Barrymore were getting kind of tanked together on the set? Probably. Probably, probably yeah. put a few back. There's probably some crazy pictures yeah. out there. You're wearing the t-shirt. You came to play. Let's just ask it. We're going to ask it. Nice to meet you. Yes. What year did E.T. come out? Before I was born. What was it? 80? 1982? Perfect. <laughs> Yay. So, what was the, the actor's name who played Elliot? Which one's Elliot? C. Thomas Howe. That is a very good guess, but <laughs> <laughs> You don't know a goddamn thing about this movie, do you? No, I haven't seen E.T. Oh my god. Do you know who Steven years. Spielberg is? Who? who what? That's who is that? About. What's your favorite Spielberg film? Ooh. I think uh, Encounters of the Third Kind, I believe it's what they call it. Encounters, yeah, good. The underdog. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Always. Hook. Let, let's give you, Something. Let's give you a couple of uh, Jaws, War of the World, yeah. AI. AI. Indiana oh. Jones. Indiana Jones. Temple of the Lost Ark. Oh, um, kind of this? Indiana Jones. Oh my god, yeah. my type. Which one? Which one? If you say four, I'll smack you right now. <laughs> but, uh, let's talk about any film. Your favorite film, period. O all time, favorite film. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Yeah. We are having the most non sequitur conversation <laughs> I've ever had in my entire life. It's Turn on your hot lights. Let it shine wherever you go. Let it make a happy glow for all the world to see. Turn on, Turn on your hot light. In the middle of a young boy's He phoned home. Right. He's also good with healthcare because he can touch you and then automatically you're healed, which oh, means you don't really have any chance to have a sick day because it'll just touch you and then you have to go to work. Oh. Unless your boss doesn't know about it, which is actually pretty pretty awesome. But then How you can't put it on Facebook, right? Well, you don't put it on Facebook. At least you think you don't put it on Facebook, but then you and do because they're like, you and it's a big old Exactly. Mess. They tag you. You don't want to be tagged. You just wanted to show up at your friend's party on a sick day and then suddenly, before you know it, you're tagged. I am so excited right now, I can't even contain myself! For all you film geeks, and you guys really, how many people do you think watch these films this summer? Do you have a number? Uh, throughout the summer, it's probably anywhere from 2,000 to probably today's about three or 4,000. Three or 4,000? You are entertaining the masses, sir. What's your name, sir? Bernie. Bernie? Yep. I'm Bernie. Bill. Nice to meet you. Nice Thank to you meet for you. keeping film alive, man. Thank you. And I'm Aaron, and we nice love you for that, too. You. Thank you so sure. much. Bernie, could you just show us what, a, what a 35 millimeter projector looks like and sure. what it does? What we do is the way that they would have run film back in the uh, from the 20s to really the 60s, okay. and we're running 20 minute reels. That's a 20 minute reel. It's about 2,000 feet. You got two projectors, and every 20 minutes or so, you'll switch between reels. How often do you have to change the reels? How many reels? About every 15 or 20 minutes. Every 15 yep. minutes, okay. And what you'll see on screen to let us know is a little Q dot. There's two sets every uh, right at the end of the reels, about. Uh, eight seconds from the end of the reel and then another okay. second from the total end of the reel. You'll see the dot flash just for a split second. Right. That's my motor cue to switch to the, the next projector. And then the motor cue, or the changeover cue, is the next cue after that. Okay. And that's when we physically switch from one projector to the other using 
mechanical changeovers. And they just open. You really got to be on your game, Bernie. Yes, you do. The magic of film. How Smell it. Smells weird, but I love it. Bernie, thank you so Bernie, much for letting us have been a, a treat, a real treat for all How the exciting, folks! You, you know, you gotta, you gotta love the movies and where, you know, remember, know the history of it before you fall for all that digital crap. This is a dying thing, right? This doesn't happen much. Anymore. Actually, what we don't know if this will be here next year or no, still, because they're, digital is the wave of the future. Ooh, what a shame! Oh. That's light, getting celluloid, old school. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm excited.